Well, we could all use a little bit of good news, right? That's why we bring you our Believe in Buffalo series. Our Jeff Russo is heading out around Western New York to find the people and projects that make our region such a great place to live. And tonight, yeah, he didn't have to travel too far from the station to find this hidden gem live in Buffalo's Five Points neighborhood. Hey, Jeff. Yes, hello Ashley, good evening everyone. We are at his and his studio, a brand new addition to this vibrant community that is really sharing a passion for jewelry, design, and education. If you've ever wanted to make a piece of jewelry, let's say a ring or earrings, this is the place to do it. One of the co-owners, Vince, a new friend of mine, is over here soldering together a, a pretty cool piece here at his and his, and would be happy to take you through the process in this really welcoming space. We are in his and his studio. We're a custom jewelry design place. We also make production work, limited edition pieces, one of a kind commission works, and teach workshops. It's an interactive jewelry design studio and retail space right in the heart of Buffalo's Five Points neighborhood. Vince Pontillo Verastro is a co owner of his and his studio. Our slogan here is inclusively queer design. We are inclusive first, and that means inclusive for all. Vince and his husband, Eric, opened his and his studio in March. We met in a jewelry class together in undergrad back in the dark ages of 2009 at SUNY Buffalo State College. Uh, we've been married now since um, April 20th, 2012. We just celebrated our 10 year anniversary and our wedding rings were even made right in the studio from scrap silver in our benches. Both Vince and Eric have their masters of fine arts in metal smithing and jewelry design. And the new studio is their way of sharing their passion and knowledge with the community in a safe, accessible space. We offer ring making workshops, earring design, bangle making, wax carving and lost wax casting. And at any point, if someone just wants to hammer a ring band, this is the place to come. Step by step, Vince patiently took me through the process of crafting a ring band from the sizing. Love it. To picking out the sterling silver rod stock. Going to be a jeweler. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves, all right, Vince? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And once you pick the silver, it's time to cut, file, and shape. Harder, Jeff. There we go. Ooh. Too hard, Jeff. <laughs> Next up. Let's do it. Soldering the seam. Daughter wants to flow to the hottest point. Three, two, one. There it goes. We did it. Wow. Once soldered, it's time to cool the ring off and put it in for a quick cleaning before testing. The moment of truth. The seam. Shaping and adding texture. There you go. Then it's a quick trip to the tumbler, and in about an hour and 50 minutes, wow. you have yourself a handcrafted silver ring. So if you're looking to get creative, take a workshop, or just buy an awesome piece of locally made jewelry, stop in to see Vince and Eric. We're a couple of jewelers, and we absolutely love making our studio jewelry pieces and sharing what we're doing to the public. All right. That was a lot of fun. Here is the ring that I promise you, Ashley, we made without incident a ton of fun. And you can do the same with our new friends, Vince and Eric here. Vince is over here now. Look at that, putting a little texture on the ring. For more on the workshops that you can become a part of here at His and His Studio, it's attached to the link on this story, on the Buffalo Believe in Buffalo section of the website over at WKBW.com. And if there's a project in your neck of the woods that you think I should check out, hey, let us know. Reach out, send me an email, or go right now on WKBW.com. Under the Believe in Buffalo tab, there's a submission form to be featured on our next Believe in Buffalo segment.